The Glowing Sushi Cooking Show uses everyday ingredients and some simple kitchen chemistry to explore cutting edge biotechnology. Each episode, we create a dish in our test kitchen and show you how to easily replicate these experiments in your own home. Hi, my name is Zach Denfeld and I'm the Outreach Coordinator for the Center for Genomic Astronomy. Welcome to the first installment of the Glowing Sushi Cooking Show. In each episode, we'll show you interesting ways of using transgenic fish in the kitchen. I'm really excited about these fish because they glow. So it's one way of getting adults and children interested in science. Now these fish were originally developed in science labs, but now you can purchase them at aquarium stores all over the US and find interesting and creative uses for them. Now this particular product comes in three different colors, orange, green, and red. The green zebrafish have a gene that's inserted from a jellyfish, GFP, green fluorescent protein. And the red fish have a gene from coral inserted, RFP, red fluorescent protein. And that's why they bioluminesce. In this episode, you will learn how to prepare raw fish. But before making any of our recipes, please review our tips on safety and ethics titled, Are These Genetically Modified Fish Safe to Eat? Available on our website. Well, now that you've reviewed our ethics and safety tips, we're ready to begin cooking. Let me introduce Kat Kramer. Uh, tell us why you're here. Hi, um, I'm here because I'm interested in food and emerging technologies and how they come together. So I'm super excited to try your glowing sushi. Well, I have to say, I've never actually made the glowing sushi. I've worked with these fish before, but I don't have any prepared recipes. So have you brought any recipes today? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, we'll have to just do it from scratch and uh, try a couple different things, and we'll show you all those experiments. Before you start cooking, you can keep your fish in a regular fish tank, but you just want to be careful and make sure that they don't breed. Oh yeah, why is that? Well, it's apparently against the company's terms of service, so you don't want to breed them and resell them, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to eat them. Good. Okay, let's begin. Yes. Great. Okay, so while we were freezing the fish, uh, Kat told me about this idea she had. Um, yeah, so it's the, the kryptonite uh, sushi roll, which uses the green bioluminescent fish. We'll try and preserve the bioluminescence and make wasabi, so it's glow-in-the-dark kryptonite wasabi. And we're going to put it on top of a, a cucumber cut uh, roll, so it's sort of like a mound and two types of green. Looks like uh, Superman's uh, worst enemy. Yes. Okay, so we have a mortar and pestle. We have the fish, a uh, tool to grab the fish some dried wasabi, and you can use uh, wasabi paste or fresh wasabi, um, some water for the paste, and uh, the black light torch. Yes. Okay, so let's give this a go. I think that works really well. Oh, I think this is going to be great. Yeah, you're going to want to serve this right away. Yeah, but it's super glowy. Really beautiful. It's very kryptonite. We have to get it on these cucumber rolls as fast as possible. Yes. All right, let's do it. You ready? Yep. So. Go. So there it is, the kryptonite roll. Yeah, so we ended up just using three of the green glowfish, and I think it worked out pretty well. It's sort of... They look beautiful. Yes. All right, let's see how they taste. Yes. Okay, you first. It was your idea. All right. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. It's really strong. That wasabi paste was really strong. Mmm. Mm. I'm got a bit of a fishy flavor. Mm-hmm. Let me see if you got any of your teeth. Oh yeah, there's a speck. <laughs> nice. This will be fun at parties. Mm. Great. Okay. Thanks. We have one more dish today. 
And um, we'll tell you about that in a second. Okay, Kat, so tell me about your second idea. Well, the second one I think should be like the traffic light. Okay. So it's uh, red, orange, and green. Don't you mean red, yellow, and green? Uh, no, orange. All right, this is a European it, it sushi roll. It works, yeah. Okay. What's the stop and... Uh, stop, stop and, and stop and go. We should uh, stop and glow roll. Yes. Is obviously what this needs nice. to be called. <laughs> okay, so uh, for this one, it's going to be more of a sashimi roll. Yeah. So we're just going to have a, a mound of rice. Don't forget to wet your fingers. It makes it easier to work with rice. Yes. Those look great. And there we have it. The stop and glow sashimi. Stop and glow roll. Awesome. Hey, it was great working with you today. Thank you. Come back anytime and uh, tell your friends. Yes. Okay. Awesome. If you have any comments, questions, or suggested recipes, just visit our website and send them our way. We'd love to get back to you and hear more about your interest on glowing sushi. Mm. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye-bye. Yes. Ready? Yeah.